As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his scenes in a previously on segment, or something. It's basically in the Bible, and that thing's full of sins. Wakanda forever! Nah, you wouldn't have heard of me. Let me put you on hold. Dance off, bro! He's a friend from work! These opening self-blogos accompanied by the Marvel, quote, all-stars, are like that guy from work that can't quit talking about his week in Dubai. We get it, Shane, you did some cool stuff. Now can you please get back to work? Those crew neck tees aren't gonna fold themselves. Throwing in the moon landing and Greta Thunberg at the end of 30 full seconds of Marvel Miasma to make your opening feel more important than it actually is. I know Disney feels like they own everything, but it seems a little ballsy to put a post-apocalyptic Hogwarts in your TV show without even getting permission from Warner Brothers. Man, I hope we get to find out all the cool things about this castle, like what kind of stone it's made of with those awesome cracks, or maybe it was a monster that did them. My money's on the Kraken, but I'm sure the show will let us know soon enough. There's no way this episode will just be scenes of people having conversations the entire time. Good thing that would never happen. Everything okay? Yeah, just need a moment. No! You take your moments in episodes three, or four at the latest. By the time you're at the final episode, you don't take moments. You do the thing that the show's been building up to for the past five episodes. Damn it, Loki, I'm tired of taking moments! I'm really fucking sick and tired of it! Phew. Sorry about that. I'm clearly the one wearing the horns today. I was pruned before you even existed. Were you though? I thought pruning was when they officially zapped you with the rainbow baton of existential nothingness, which literally just happened. Before that, weren't you just kidnapped? Also, how do you know who existed first? Just because you got yoinked into the TVA first doesn't mean they didn't pull you from a time that postdated this Loki. Your words matter, Sylvie. I have been waiting for this moment my entire life. I just need a second to get my head straight, okay? Castle doors addict to people needing a second. Once, at a wedding reception, I requested a Van Halen song, but the TJ almost put a Criss Cross track on instead. Anyhow, I hate jump scares. He's impressed. Who's impressed? He who remains. Either playing the pronoun game when it's not needed, or self-nicknaming via the pronoun game. I'm actually so annoyed right now, I'm not gonna pick. I'm just gonna give two sins and sort it out later. You can kill Thanos. Hiddleston's reaction here is great, but would he really have that much emotion just from seeing a highlight reel earlier of what Thanos did in a reality he was never even really part of? You want the Infinity Gauntlet? Yours. I get that if you're going to keep an antagonist around in this kind of capacity, humanizing him is just part of the process. Look what Star Trek eventually did to the Borg. That doesn't mean I have to like it. Loki would take this deal. Or at least the interesting version of Loki would take this deal. The not deal taking Loki is a Loki of lies. I mean, all Lokis are Lokis of lies, but this one is a Loki of different lies. Two Lokis in the same place. Someone hasn't studied their time cop. Shooting video in portrait mode. Checking for dust without a white glove on. Most of dust is human skin, Loki. And now you're basically wearing someone else's skin on your skin, you creepo. This is wild. What? That the villain eats an apple thing is so mainstream now that Marvel's just whipping it out front and center instead of doing it on the sly and hiding their shame? Agree. Come on, Marvel, don't you realize how naked your cliché is here? If only there were a metaphor for the moment you wake up, become aware of your sin, and feel ashamed. Well, either way. Come on, let's talk. From my office. Spending any amount of time in a Marvel TV show talking in an office. Two sugars. Thinking that two sugars can fix the nastiness that is tea, or coffee, or whatever drink you've convinced yourself is actually good even though it's so bitter it's primarily responsible for keeping the sweetener industry in business. Oh, well, you know, one man's void is another man's piece of cake. Title of my sex tape? Why is the coat drive poster in Rinslayer's office? Wouldn't that be better served out in the hallway or even on the outside school walls so more people were aware of it happening? There will be kids without coats this winter because school doesn't know how to advertise correctly. Calling your school THE Ohio State University. You're not special, Buckeyes, no matter how many articles you insert before your title. Everything that's, uh, that's going to happen. There's only one way this can go. Does it involve Disney making anus loads of money? I bet it involves Disney making anus loads of money. No, you can't get to the end until you've been changed by the journey. This stuff, it needs to happen to get us all in the, in the right mindset to finish the, the quest. Jonathan Majors is not my DM in this scene. Free will? <laughs> Free will? I give all the sins back right now if the Fresh Prince suddenly leapt over Rinslayer from behind and she trailed her fingers on his skin as he passed above her and then swam to freedom. Eons of friendship, and you threw it all away on a couple of Lokis. As interesting a character as she's become, I'm kind of starting to wish this show was called Rinslayer instead of Loki, but it is not. And just who are you? Oh, I've been dubbed many names by many people. A ruler. A conqueror. We'll get back to your regularly scheduled sinning here in a bit, but damn, I gotta take some sins off. The fact that Marvel reveals a major villain sure to have a huge impact on the MCU and one of their TV shows, it's a sign the game's completely changed. Take some real show ads to put this much faith in your plan and, and I've gotta give some respect. 
Also, Jonathan Majors is absolutely pulverizing this role. He's so brilliant, compelling, and charismatic that I've forgotten my job here is to sin things, not fan slobber all over him. I'm sorry, won't let it happen again. Eons ago, before the TVA. Exposition via some sort of Mercury Theater is still exposition. I bet you didn't even get permission from Orson Welles. And he discovered that there were universes stacked on top of the zoo. Those look more like solar systems than universes, but whatever, King the Expositioner, you do you. I love your shoes. I love your hair. Oh, man. Nice nose. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, f it happened again, didn't it? However, not every version of me was so, so pure of heart. And the director said, remember that obvious Apple metaphor from earlier? Let's pat it home even more and have him take another bite right in the middle of talking about the asshole versions of himself because f subtlety, am I right? The way the music is in harmony with his vocal performance and the general amazingness of this Natalie Holt soundtrack is blowing my mind. No, not again. Um, pretentiously singing it amen when we all know it's amen. Whew, saved it. Once I isolated our timeline, all I have to do is manage the flow of time and prevent any further branches. Oh, is that all? The TVA, it works. Or you're a liar. There are so many more possibilities than that. Let's get some gray in there, Marvel. Not every scenario is black or white, Marvel or DC, Laverne or Shirley. Also, side note, it's totally Shirley. We're all villains here. One's been a bit neutered, but sure. Ah! Oh, now you use magic. I haven't been this annoyed with mythical creatures relying on modern weaponry since underworld hot leather pants. Glad to see the MTU isn't faltering on their stabby stabby pew pew finale resolutions. There's something to be said about being consistently predictable with the final battles. Sylvie, stop. Stop. She already did, somehow, in the midst of a ferocious kill swing, despite you not saying this till after you appeared in the direct line of that kill shot that somehow did not kill you. Is I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Sorry, I, I black out and sing Aerosmith when I get bored by what's going on in front of me. There's a reason people have stopped inviting me to weddings and funerals. It's masturbation. But I'm not you. Wait, you mean not you, you? Or like, not you at all? Like, not a Loki or not this Loki? If you think making me wait a year to find out the answer to this isn't gonna get you a sin, you're right, because you're getting five. I'm turning back now. Hey, remember these important characters that were developed so nicely through the last five episodes and then given sh to do in the finale? Yeah, me either. I should probably start a Sidekicks Anonymous support group with Taurus from Falcon and Sharon and Todd Davis from WandaVision with an emphasis on the Anonymous. For all time. Always. Roll King Marshalls. What are you talking about? Who are you? What's your name? Nice twist you got there. Be a shame if someone came along and questioned the logic of it. But why would Sylvie have programmed him to go to an alternate timeline or universe? Why would that timeline or universe be in the exact same time and with the same people as he left it? And why would those people not know who he is when the timelines didn't diverge till after he left? How would there even be a TVA in a different timeline or universe? I'm sure you'll explain it to me in the comments and Marvel will pretend to answer some of these questions, but I'm guessing it comes down mostly to... It's complicated, okay? And that ain't enough. Breaking the fourth dimensional wall. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? No. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. And what have we always wanted? The whole place organized by style, cross-referenced by size, and reverse indexed by fabric. She'll be able to find anything in three seconds flat. It was some of my best work. And just who are you? I am Kang. Do not be frightened. We mean you no harm. You, you speak English. I am actually speaking Rigelian. By an astonishing coincidence, both of our languages are exactly the same. You came to kill the devil, right? We beat the devil. With our rock. I've lived a million lifetimes. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. Hold it, hold it. What is this? Is this a kissing book?